For most families, getting your first pet is a rite of passage. They teach us about compassion, responsibility and loyalty. They're our best friends and members of our families. For thousands of years, as we've went from the cave to the village and finally to the city, dogs have stood faithfully by our side. Not only as our companions, but as our aides and as our guardians. In the UK alone, over 25% of the adult population owns a dog. That's an estimated 10 million pet dogs, be it a purebred puppy, a designer breed, or even this little guy. I'm going to take a look into the lives of the first domesticated animal and how they took their place at our side. Close to 10,000 years ago, wolves were considered rivals to humans in the food chain causing us both a threat and competition for food. However, for some of these wolves, especially those without a pack, these human camps provided new opportunities. Wolves that showed less aggression could get close at these encampments and feed on the leftovers. As these more docile scavengers outlasted their more aggressive brethren, certain traits were passed on, which eventually led to their domestication. Their similar social structure made it easy for them to integrate with human families and humans soon found a number of uses for their new companions. As human job roles diversified, so did dogs. Short stocky dogs for herding, elongated dogs to flush animals out of burrows, and the large muscular dogs got guard duty. During Victorian England, these dog types were standardised into breeds, with many new ones just bred for appearance. Not all dogs get a lie around all day, now that we know how dogs came to be on our side, I'd like to take a deeper look into the role dogs play in the workplace and how they help with our daily grind. Dogs in the workplace can be split into three categories. Working dogs that perform specific tasks with excellence, service dogs that assist people and children with needs, and finally, therapy dogs. They provide mental support to distressed people. Let's start with working dogs. Working dogs assist us in performing specific tasks. Police and military dogs are considered to be working dogs, but other jobs include herding, hunting, and search and rescue. Breeds and types of working dogs can be extremely varied. For example, beagles are known for their great tracking ability, and hence, they find value in the customs and border related authorities. Next up, we have service dogs. Service dogs are meant to help assist people with certain disabilities. The disabilities can range from visual difficulties, stress disorders, mental illnesses, hearing impairments, or even autism. They go into specialised training, depending on the person they will be assisting. And last but certainly not least, we have therapy dogs. Therapy dogs are meant to provide psychological support for people with mental health issues. Therapy dogs find wide recognition in schools, hospitals, and nursing homes. Service dogs and therapy dogs also fall under the umbrella term of working dogs but the differentiation is purposely done in order to streamline the nature of the task that each is capable of performing. Now we've seen dogs in the working world, I'd like to speak to dog owners and see how dogs have changed their everyday lives. My name is Margaret and the dog's name is Evie. And what breed is Evie? She's crossed between Yorkshire Terrier and a Chihuahua. She's just gone 10. All right, my name's Debbie and this is my dog, Robin. She's a German Shorthead Pointer and she's four years old. I think it's somebody that, yeah, that needs attention. You've got to feed them, you've got to walk them, you've got to look after them. So it, keep, it keeps you busy. Good yes, good company. Um, the things I love about dogs are um, I like getting out and about, competing, um, going away to different places, obviously the companionship. Uh, I'm more into a routine now because when you have a dog, you've got to have some sort of routine. It changed my life probably because I would never have met the people, like the friends that I have, I would have never met them if I wasn't um, competing. Oh well, she, she is good company in the house and I, I I know I couldn't be without her. I don't know what I'd do. With me, probably um, achieving things that I've set out to train when it all comes together and it comes, um, you're competing and you win and 
Um, just all your hard work that you've put in is really you just shows some results. Well, as I say, it, it occupies you, especially when people live on their own. The older people, it, it keeps them agile, I think, and to look, yes, a good exercise. Obviously, the exercise component, because no matter how bad you feel, you always have to take them out for exercise, especially the breeds that I've got, because they don't kind of take well to just sitting around on the sofa, as you can see. Just don't hesitate, as long as you know you can look after it, get one, they're very rewarding. Dogs don't only offer companionship, they also offer health benefits for their owners. I'm going to take a look at what exactly some of those are. Healthy Heart Dogs just don't fill your heart, they actually make it stronger. Studies show that having a canine companion is linked to low blood pressure and reduced cholesterol, which contribute to better overall cardiovascular health and fewer heart attacks. More exercise. Health experts recommend that adults get 2 hours and 30 minutes worth of moderate exercise per week. As a dog owner, you are way more likely to hit that goal. In turn, that activity helps us remain mobile into our 70s and 80s. Less stress. There's a reason therapy dogs are so effective. Spending just a few minutes with a pet can lower anxiety, blood pressure, and increase levels of serotonin and dopamine, two neurochemicals that play big roles in calming and well-being. I think it's been made pretty clear what an impact dogs have made on almost every aspect of our lives. They bring us joy, companionship, and even make our work lives a little easier. Unfortunately, it isn't always a happy ending for every dog out there. With close to 50,000 stray dogs in the UK alone, charities like Dogs Trust play a big part in trying to lighten the load. But please take time, care and consideration when deciding to become a dog owner. Although it is incredibly rewarding, a dog is for life and can be a huge commitment. <laughs>